Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating pattern brushes in Procreate. Now we're going to start with a brand new document and it needs to be square. The reason for this is that we're going to create the grain for the brush and both the grains for a brush and also if you're creating a stamp brush they need to be based on a square document. The other thing they need to be is 2048 by 2048 pixels or less so just make sure you don't make them too big. Now for the pattern that we're going to make with this brush, I'm going to make a coloured circle. So I'm going to start with a calligraphy brush. So go to the calligraphy brush area in the new Procreate 5. There is a monoline brush here. Now I'm just going to use it, set up however it is. You could add streamline if you want to, but I'm just going to be drawing a circle. So I'm just going to draw a rough circle. Pause until edit shape appears, tap on it and make sure it's a circle. I can move it around and I can just drag colour into it. Now we're working with black and grey. That's pretty critical because the brush texture is going to be black and grey. I want to make sure that the circle is in the middle of my document so I'm going to the transform tool. I'm going to turn snapping on. I'm going to make sure that snapping itself is on but magnetics is not. I like to have distance set to the maximum, think it just works better that way, and velocity around about a middle value. Now it should be easy enough for me to just tap and move this shape into the middle of the document using those guides to tell me that it's arrived there safely. I'm going to make a duplicate of this shape, so I'm going to drag across it in the layers panel so I have a duplicate. This is going to have a lighter middle. So what I'm going to do is just drop a lighter colour into it. So let's go and get a lighter grey. Now in the new Procreate 5X you've got colour drop and so we can just drag a colour out of here into this document and it will just appear there. Let me just make sure that I'm dragging and dropping a little more quickly than I was. So you can colour drop out of a colour palette in the new Procreate 5X. I've got two circles here, a black one and a grey one on top. I'm going to make the grey one a little bit smaller. So let's just go and tap the transform tool. I'm going to drag inwards so it's scaled inwards. You can see that we've got the height and width. They're the exact same values telling me that this is going to be still a circle when it arrives. So I'm just making sure that I'm using values that are the same. If you don't get those equal values and you want to check to make sure they are equal, you can just tap on any one of these handles and that opens up this dimension option. And so you could set the dimensions manually, you could just type them in. I've got mine perfectly so I'm just going to leave it at that. I've still got snapping turned on but magnetics turned off. So I'm going to just drag this again into the middle of the document. So now I've got two circles over the top of each other. This is going to be the basis for my pattern. So I need to take a picture of it. I'll go up here to the actions menu. I'll go to add and I'll go down here to copy canvas. So now we're ready to go and create our pattern brush. I'll go to the brush library. I'm going to select one of my own brush collections. I'll put it in Helen shapes and I'm going to tap the plus symbol here. We'll go straight to grain we'll go to edit, we'll go to import and we'll go to paste and that pastes the grain in that we have just created. In fact this is a pattern that we've just created. It's going to be a repeating pattern inside our brush. I'm going to tap here and then tap done. Now let's go to our shape. I can choose at this point a hard or a soft shape. I'm just going to go for a hard one but if you want to change the shape you're using go to edit, go to import and go to source library. These are the brush shapes that are shipped with Procreate. So this is the one we're using, the hard one. Let me just go and get that again. If you wanted a softer one you could choose for example medium hard. Well let's actually go and select medium hard. This brush is going to paint a little more softly. You can see it's got softer edges on it. So right now this is how our brush is painting. You'll see that we've got white where we had black in the original grain and we don't have anything in the middle here. So there is a key setting inside Procreate that will allow us to see the shades of colour in this brush and that's in the rendering area. 
By default, we're using intense glaze, and that is giving us this result. If we go to light glaze, we're going to get the sort of gray center. So in this case, our brush is going to have some sort of color in it, if you like. We can see the difference in color happening here. But you can see too that the brush is painting very opaque. It's only going to paint full intensity when I press really hard with my pencil. The reason for that is that there is an opacity setting for the Apple Pencil. So when we find that our brush paints differently with however hard we press our pencil, then we need to make changes in the Apple Pencil area. So I'm going to tap on that. This is the issue. It's varying opacity depending on how hard I press with the pencil. Well, I don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to take opacity all the way to none. That means that now the brush is going to paint at the opacity that I choose in the opacity settings in the main editing area, and it's not going to respond to changes in the brush pressure or the pencil pressure. So that's behaving the way I want it to. Let's go back to grain though, and let's scale our grain down quite a bit. Let's see how it looks when we paint with it. So it's looking pretty good right now, but let's just add some more dots and a little bit more and a little bit more. Now you might notice that the grain's not appearing consistent throughout these brush strokes. It should be further away here. These two dots here should be further away. The reason it's doing this is that the grain is being jitted. So every time we put the brush down, Procreate's deciding a different place to put the grain. If you don't want that to be the case, what you're going to do is go down here to what's called Offset Jitter. Watch here when I turn Offset Jitter off. Now all the dots line up. And so if you want your pattern to look even on your brush, then you need to turn off Offset Jitter. So let's go and see how our brush is going to paint. I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm going to press on the plus sign, or the little check mark for that layer, which hides all the other layers and just targets this one. I'm going to select a color to paint with. And our brush is now painting this pattern onto our editing area. And when I add some more brush strokes, it's just painting them with a nice consistent pattern. This dot is a seamless repeating pattern. Now, if I decrease the size of the brush, you'll see that the pattern is not changing. The brush stroke is thinner, but the pattern is the same size. If you don't want that to be the case, if you would like your brush stroke to not only change the width of the brush, but also the size of the pattern, this is what you're going to do. Go to the brush tool, go back to your brush, go to the grain, and in the zoom area, you'll see that it's currently set to cropped. Well, you're going to take zoom all the way back to follow size. Now the size of the pattern is going to adjust according to the size of the brush, but I'm going to start this one off a little bit bigger. So this is what I'm going to start with, the kind of relationship between the brush stroke and the pattern. So right now I've got a narrow brush, small pattern. Let's wind it up, wider brush, larger pattern. So that's the basics of creating pattern brushes in Procreate. Now if you'd like to investigate this a little bit further, I have an entire class at Skillshare on making pattern brushes in Procreate. Now I've given you a link in the description below to that class and there is a deal there for Skillshare. So if you sign up for Skillshare, you obviously get access to that class, but also to thousands of other classes on Skillshare. You'll find that there is a short period of time that you can sign up and get access to all the classes on Skillshare. And if you decide to go ahead and sign up for Skillshare, it's less than, I think, $10 a month. So it's pretty inexpensive to have access to thousands of classes, including over 250 of mine covering Procreate, Illustrator, Photoshop and also Lightroom. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Procreate of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.